Okay, here we are to talk about the Super Bowl Blu-ray. And here's what I wanted to say about it. The, I got a bunch of Smithfield sweatshirts for some reason. Um, Super Bowl last year's. I'm not good with Roman numerals. That's terrible. But at least I can admit it. Okay, the Kansas City Chiefs won and pa Patrick Mahomes. And that's not the problem. That's not why I hate this. I hate it because it's like many of the other Super Bowl releases on Blu-ray that don't utilize the 5.0 audio, 5.1 audio. And what do I mean by that? Um, right here it says DTS 2.0 stereo. And you're saying to yourself, why would they have a 2.0 track? There's a lot they could throw in there and mix for Super Bowl sounds while they're playing football and all that. And then on the DVD, it has 5.1 Dolby Digital. I understand that's a different kind of sound, but you know, there's no 5.1 on the main Blu-ray, but there's 5.1 on the DVD. And um, if it wasn't so difficult for me to get at my um, Blu-rays, I probably would take the time to go see if, it, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. Um, it's really disappointing, and I gotta say, with the one thing they could do is get rid of all this crap from their special feature list. So I'll tell you if it's good or not. All right, at two, 2022 NFL Shots of the Year, fun with the quarterbacks. Sometimes that's fun. Usually they only show the quarterbacks that are willing to talk. If some are angry and don't want to talk to the public, they don't they don't include them. The officials, that's pretty good. Football follies, like screw ups and stuff, kind of dumb. Um, National Tight Ends Day. Um, you know, I think if they have a day for everything now. It's a little ridiculous, don't you think? Why don't you just give everybody an award at the end of the year and call it quits? That's, I, that's what I say. Coach speak. Celebrations. Trash talk. Trash talk really isn't that good because they can't give you the swearing on the Blu-ray. So, overall I have to say... That's bullshit. And you know how I noticed this? Usually I just pop the Blu-ray in and play. Whatever sound it has is fine. Not this time. I was saying not, there's not enough sound coming out of all the speakers. I'm trying to mess around with the settings and all that. And the first two channels in the front. Well, actually the three. The center, the right, and the left. I keep messing around them. I can't get them to do... They're the only ones that will do anything. Back speakers won't do nothing. Come to find it out, it's only two channels. How awful. I don't know whose idea it was to make the Blu-ray like this, but they're making a huge, huge mistake. So for anyone out there that gets Blu-rays from um, NFL, you're going to most likely get the two-channel, and it won't matter because most people don't have surround sound systems. But I don't know if... I know baseball is stuck at 2.0 with their um, the games you watch, but those are complete games from television the broadcasts i don't know about basketball or hockey if you watch their um their their videos every year when someone wins the stanley cup or the nba championship whatever that's called i don't know if those include surround sound but i know football didn't do it this year i want to know why it doesn't have it it really you can tell the difference in this there's a lot of 5.1 tracks if you dumb it down to two you can't tell the difference because there's nothing coming out of the rear. But if there's something coming out of the front speakers and the rear speakers, you can tell the difference. All right. Bye-bye.